you said, uh, you come against me with a sword, uh, with a spear and javelin, uh, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. Uh. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. Welcome to a moment of revival fire with Bishop Dr. Ken. May you receive your miracle. By tomorrow, we will get your answer. By tomorrow, we will get your solution. At Revival Sanctuary of Glory, Peruta Satellite, Nairobi, Kenya. God is set to bless, empower, and lift your life. Amen. To ongeza Yesu Makovi akiwa chuo bigoni sababu ni moema na tena ni mshindi. Hallelujah. And this service, I want to talk about preparedness for the day of the Lord. Preparedness for the day of the Lord. Yani kujitayalisha sababu ya siku ya bwana. And this are like a signal of warning. I may read several texts because uh, a sort of a warning. Kukuonya uzisahau usiku yake mwenyezi mungu. Bwana yesu wapewe seva. Amen. Let's go to the book of Second Peter chapter number 3 and from verse number 1. I want to talk about in this part number 12 of uh, all these uh, segments they are all on YouTube. You can turn to YouTube. You can find uh, for those who are following us on Facebook, uh, you can be able to look, go to uh, look a page. You'll be able to find all this from part number one, two, three, going up to now we're in part number 12, and God's going to bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh huh. Preparedness for the day of the Lord. Let's read first number one. The Bible says, if you are there, say, Amen. 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 The Bible says, uh, for Second Peter, Second Peter, Second Peter. Uh, yeah. The Bible says, dear friends, three, chapter three, chapter three, first one, chapter three, first one, uh, chapter three, first number one. Ebu so makido ni skewe me pata one to the nasema nini? Ena sema amon. Iyo si ya kusema pole pole sema tena. Angalia neiva, mwambie nini? Aha, uh -huh. mwambie dear friend. Haya muongeleze hapo mbele inasema nini dear friend? Aha, uh -huh. this is now my second letter to you. Uh, second letter. What is the first letter? First letter ni gani? First Peter. Hallelujah, first Peter. So anasema dear friends, I want you to know that uh, Peter did not address any particular church. It's not like the one we are reading, ya wa Thessalonike, ama wa Galatia, ama wa Philippi, ama wa Colossae, ama wa Colindo, ama zingine unezataja. But Peter wrote to the body of Christ. He wrote to the church of Christ. So he wrote to me uh, and to you. So he said, dear friends, this is now my second letter to you. I like the way he begin. I'm going to say my dear friend. Do you know one of the things that is required? Kitu moja boy na itanjika kanisani ni ushirika. Ebu sambo disema ushirika. Tunapazwa kuwa na ushirika. Tunapazwa kuwa na upendo. 
Tunapazwa kuwa na fulaha Tunapazwa kuwa na kupokereana moja na mwingine Na kanisani usionyeshe upendeleo Usipende moja kuliko mwingine Treat everybody equally Ebu fanya hivi Ebu fanya hivi Treat everybody what? Equally Hallelujah Hata your friends Now here the Bible say Dear friends Is now my second letter to you I've written both of them as a reminder, as reminders to stimulate you to hold some thinking. I want you to recall the words spoken in the past by the Holy Prophet and the command given by our Lord and Savior through your apostles. He talked like an elder. Sasa anaongea kama elder. Anasema nataka niwakumbushe ile mambo ambayo muli ilinakiliwa, ile ambayo mulielezwa na wale mitume wa kale na hata wale wazee ni kuhusu Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. If this is somebody ambaye anapalilia wokovu wake vizuri, anaangalia maisha yake na inasonga ama inaendelea vizuri. Haya mstari wa tatu. Let's go in kufikisha pale nataka kuchimba. Inasema hivi First of all, anasema ya kwanza, you must understand us in the last days. Somebody say in the last days. Underline the word in last days. Underline the last days. I told you eschatology is a study of the things of the last days. Hallelujah. Future things. So that's why anasema ima andiko. Anasema hapa, first of all, you must understand that in the last days. Why does he say you must understand? Angadia neighbor. Nataka uongea na neighbor. Mwambia you must understand. Hallelujah. Nikaniza nambia you must understand. Ibi kusema lazima werewe. Hii siku kitu ya mbayo utashika kwa ulaizi. You must understand that in the last days covers will come. Can you say scovers? Scovers, who are scovers? Scovers ni wale watu ambao ni wakuthi haki. Scovers ni wale watu ambao ni wakurete shaka. Scovers ni wale watu ambao ni wakufanya watu usiamini kiri ambajo kimesemwa. Ni waku water the water down. Yani wana puza, wana haribu, wana haribu ijiri. Anasema, first of all you must understand that in the last days, covers will come, scoffing the, scoffing and following their own evil desires. Let me tell you, one of the signs of the last days, ni watu ambao walikuwa wamesimama vizuri, Watu ambao walikuwa ni wamcha Mungu, watu ambao walikuwa na bidii ya Mungu, bidii inapunguka. Arabu wanageuka wanaanza kuwa compromisers. Wanakuwa ni watu wa kujichanganya. Wanakuwa ni watu ambao muogopi Mungu. Wanakuwa ni watu ambao wanafanya chochote. Let me tell you, if you feel like this I don't care attitude, don't care spirit na kujarisha. Hata kama uombi usiki hukumu, hata kama usomi neno usiki hukumika, hata kama uendi kanisa usiki hukumika, hata kama utumiki Mungu, hata ukiutumiki Mungu, hata ukiongea vibaya, hausiki kuhukumika, your spiritual life need some attention. It is in danger. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. Wanafuata matakwa yao maofu. Hii ni shara za mwisho. Tuendele the other first. Inasema, they will say. Look at what they will say. They will say. Hebu ni ulize. Nataka ni kulize. They will say. Unisome. They will say. What will they say? Aha, apana. Angalia bebilia. Kwa za kusoma, nitaona kama ufuati. They will say. What will they say? Aha. Where is this coming? Uh -huh. He promised. I have never said my name is one, two, three. Ever since our fathers died, uh huh. When I said my name, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of the creation. Have you ever heard people? Unawambia yesu anarudi. 
Anasema hata kama ningizaliwa nilikuta watu wakisema hivi tu. Halo. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Haleluya. Unaambia watu, "Ah, Yesu anarudi." Anasema, "Ah, acha hiyo. Hata hata nikiokoka nilikuta watu wakisema hivyo tu." Hebu nione ni wangapi mwaisikia watu wakisema hivyo. Haleluya. Hope we si mmoja wa wao. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Scobas, they will come. Wanasema now when they say that wana fulfill this scripture wanatimiza haya maandiko mimi nasema kwamba they will say where is this coming ako wapi huyu ambaye anakunja aliahidiwa ever since our fathers died everything goes on as it has since the beginning of the creation can you say that is the lie of the devil that is the lie of the Mambo sio kawaida. Onyesha neighbor kidole imwambie mambo sio kawaida. Mambo sio nini? Kawaida. Hallelujah. Hao ni wale watu ambao they don't care about their life. Hallelujah. And we go on. But they uh -huh, But they deliberately forget that long ago by God's word the heavens existed and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters also the world of that time was deluged and destroyed by the same word the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men sasa hapo ni warning inasema kwamba wanasahau hii dunia iliumbwa na hilo hilo neno neno litasimama Kupitia neno dunia iliumbwa. Kupitia neno ulimwengu wa Noa ukaubwa. Kupitia neno uh, kila kitu kiliumbwa na kiko. Na kupitia neno ne, dunia ya Noa ikaangamizwa na maji. It was deluged and destroyed. Kupitia neno moto ukamaliza Sodoma na Gomora. Na kupitia neno kile ambacho kimeandikwa kitatimizika. Yesu akasema heaven and earth will do what? Nataka nione wale wanajua Bible hata Bible kidogo. Bibi inasema nini? Heaven and earth will do what? Will pass away, but my word will stand on forever. Neno la Bwana litalimei. Somebody sema amen. Hebu onyesha neighbor hivi mwambie kaa kama neno. Kaa kama nini? Neno. Kama ungetaka kushinda kaa kama neno. Somebody say amen. Haya twende verse number eight. The Bible say, but do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord a day is like a thousand. Hebu sema a day is like a thousand. A day is like a thousand years and a thousand years are like a day. Hebu angalia neighbor na ukubali kuongea. Angalia neighbor hata akiwa bali. Muulize neighbor, by the way how old are you? Hallelujah. Mbele ya Bwana miaka elfu moja ni kama how many days? Onyesha neighbor, miaka ngapi? Elfu moja ni kama siku ngapi? Haya angalia neighbor muulize tena neighbor na hakikaza kuongea nitakwambia usonge bali. Muulize neighbor umeniambia una miaka ngapi? Eh? Kwa hivyo kama miaka elfu moja ni siku moja wewe <laughs> angalia neighbor mchekere kidogo muulize neighbor na hiyo miaka that the fourth fifth hallelujah wewe umemaliza umemaliza how many hours bele za bwana hapa wengine tangu uzaliwe hujamaliza even half an hour na vile umesubua dunia Galia neighbor muliza neighbor wewe si uko that hata hata hapa nao hujamaliza Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu apewe sifa Kama miaka elfu moja iko to one day miaka ngapi Hebu tuong miaka ngapi Miaka ngapi Nataka nisikie wale wamechoka wataki kuongea Miaka ngapi Elfu moja ni kama siku ngapi Sasa ukiwa na miaka 50 Umemaliza masaba gapi? Even one hour. Wengine mnazaliwa 6, wengine wanazaliwa 6 by 6:40. Wameenda. 40 minutes. 
according to God. Look at this. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord. Somebody say, with the Lord. A day is like a thousand, a thousand what? Come on, say many. A thousand is like what? A day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years are like a, a day. Hallelujah. Ebony Wauri is the oldest, oldest person. Adikuwa ni nani? Adikuwa nani? Adimaliza miaka ngapi? Hallelujah. Miaka ngapi? Hallelujah. The oldest person in the Bible, Adikuwa Medusera. Adi 969 years. 900. Adimaliza 1,000. Aya, ni mwauliza, alimaliza one day. Alimaliza one day. Ah, ah, <laughs> Ati alikuwa sa atiza. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Aliza alikuwa asubuya kakuwa sa atiza. Na huyo di alikuwa muzee sana. Mwanezo pewe siva. Angalia mweza kwa muliza neiba. Weo na ono tamaliza masa agapi. <laughs> Egine not even masa. Egine... Hallelujah. Na wana wa umezeeka mpaka umechukua mkongojo. Hallelujah. Wana wa. So haba nasema, but do not forget this one thing, dear friend, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a, a day. Do you know, let me tell you, according to the creation order of God, tangu creation to the end, of the world. Beleza mungu itakuwa ni one week. One week equal to 7,000 years. Hii dunia, masayansu wanasema imemariza sijui 8 billion years wongo. Hii dunia, if you go according to chronological arrangement, I take, I stand the word according to, uh, to geological arrangement. Tunamenda kumariza sasa miaka elfu sita. Tangu yumbwe, because 1,000 ya mwisho itakuwa ni 1,000 years of peace of Christ. Na yu tutatawala na kristo haba duniani miaka elfu moja to completeness. Mungu alikuwa meanda mbele zake dunia tangu kuumbo mbaga mwisho itakuwa ni one week. Na one week equal to seven days and seven days equal to 7,000 years. Kwa hivyo bele za mungu, hii dunia, na vile imezeeka, ijamaliza one week. Mwanezu wa pewe siva? Ebu inuwa mkono sema, ebe? Ebu angalia neiba, mwambia neiba, ukierewa hii maneno, hakuna stress duniani. Hakuna nini? Hakuna duniani. Na hiyo wana wa, dina subuaga mtu, anasema, nazawaka nijenge golova. Nataka nijenge hii. Hautaka one hour. Bele za mungu. Praise the Lord. Uh, Ebu no mkono sema hallelujah. So, Aktu ya bibi na sema miaka yetu ni sabini. Na kama tunangovu ni the manini. But according to God, alikuwa nataka watu wakae miaka yote. Kama dhambi inge ingia, watu wangekaa miaka yote miaka elfu saba. Rakini dhambi lipo ingia, Ika ingia mpaka wakati wa medusera. Saza ilikuwa, ilikuwa meanza kuishi miaka mingi. Saza miaka ikapunguzua. Because of the wickedness. Kwa sababu kuongezeka kwa dhambi. Ata noa alie kuwa righteous. Alika 300 years. Wanesu wa pesiva. Ebu wanyesha naiba vidole tatu. Mwambia ukikaa 300 years. Utapanya nini? 300 years. Miaka miatatu. Hallelujah. Ata siyo mingi. Aham. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Asande sana Leo ni, ni nandada moja alikuja ni shukuru ofisi Alikuwa mgonji wa kansa And I prayed for her Mwezi wa pili Haimpo muombea mungu wakamaliza kansa Hameenda hospitali akambiwa Hakuna hata ishala ya kansa Hallelujah So wakanja tu shukuru We were thanking Nipo shukuru Haka niambia bishop ni naamini ni taishi miaka ya maandiko Kamuambia vile umekiri ipoke Utaishi yo miaka Kanza ita kupunguzia miaka. Ebu inuwa mikono sema hallelujah. You know there is power in our tongue whatever we say. But do not forget this one thing. 
dear friend, with the Lord, days like a thousand years. And a thousand years are like a day. Every somebody say, I like a day. Haya, verse number nine. Every two, so many verse number nine. In a sermon, in verse number nine. One, two, three, go. The Lord is slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Because he is patient with the world. Ukiona mutu ajaokoka, ujue uyo diya na tudireisha kweda heaven. Uyuri ambaye ajaokoka, ukiona mutu ajaokoka, God is patient. Ebu soma first number nine. Andaka ujisome. Uki soma inaingia kwa moyo wako. Ebu soma one, two, three. Uh -huh. It's not slow in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness. Uh -huh. But he is what? Patient with you. Uh -huh. And there they are. Not wanting anyone to perish. Uh -huh. But everyone to come to God will be happy when all your family members are born again. God will be happy when all your children are born again. Somebody say my amen. amen. And I pray, uingie binguni pamoja na jamii yako. Hebu ni mkono sema amen. Hebu nikuulize, hata wewe ukifurahia binguni unaimba na maraika, eh? Unaimba vile Michael hapa alikuwa naimba. Haleluya. Aravu naye kule Jehana Unaona watoto wako wanachomeka. Is it a joy? It's not a joy. But when you are rejoicing in heaven together with your children, it is the greatest joy. Preparedness for the coming of the law. Hallelujah. I am in Ikwani Meguza Kina is a soma two. First number ten. In a sema. But Ebuni Some first number ten in a sanani. But what will happen? The day of the law will come like a the heavens will disappear with the lower, and the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything in it will be laid bare. Na kila kitu duniani tanga mizwa. Uh-huh. I have seen everything will be destroyed in this way. What kind of people ought you to be? You ought to believe holy and God alive as you look forward to the day of God and speed is coming. And speed is coming by serving God. By serving God. And speed the, the day of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Uh, so this one uh, is preparing us for the coming of the Lord. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by the fire. And the elements with it will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth. The home of the righteous. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort. Can you tell your neighbor, make every effort. Make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our wrong patience means salvation. Just as our brother, dear brother Paul, also wrote on you with the wisdom that God gave him. Uh-huh. He writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things, weighty matters that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do to other scriptures uh, to their own destruction. Don't distort. Don't, yani don't dispute with the word. Leave it. Anasema, kama vile mtume poru. Ariandika, mambo mengine anaonekana ni mazito. Ata ijini na ubidi sai. Kuna watu anasikia inzito mno. Anasema, bisho, ini ngumu mno. Ini inzito. Kuna watu anasikia ni ngumu. Uh, but, uh, why was it written in the Bible? It's written as a warning and to help us. Can you say, can I show you? A warning of the days we are living. Go to the book of Second Peter chapter 2 and verse number 1. You can write verse number 1 to 22. Kinta soma mpaka pale ntaweza. Hallelujah. The Bible says, But these were also 
Um, but, there were, but there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. Yani ni naongea kuzu mambo ya nyakati za mwisho. I'm in eschatology. And that's when naongea ma, ma, mambo wabo itatokea nyakati za mwisho. Kutakuwa na scovers. One to me on a scovers. Now how about you utakuwa na false prophets. Ah, but there were also false prophets among the people. Just said there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly introduce destructive hearses. Even denying the same Lord who bought them, bringing sweet destruction on themselves. Do you know if there are people you should be careful of, they are false prophets. Because false prophets, he, he or she destroy your future spiritual destiny. Anakupotoza. And you, somebody should be careful about the false prophets. Hebu ni waulize, nyakati za mwisho, nyakati ya tunaishi. Are there false prophets? Hebu ni jibuni, ishala ya mwini, nyakati za mwisho. Kuna manabi wa wongo. Umewai wa ona. Hebu ni wana nani, kama kuna mtu wapa amewai ona manabi wa wongo. Hebu ni wamukono. Umewai ona. Somebody say maeme. Hata ngini ya wako bari na sisi. Hata ngini wamejita the mightiest, mightiest, powerful prophet. Ngini wamechukua majina ya mungu. Ngini hata wamesema, I am the rija who was to come. Shetani ya shindwe. Ama we uja waona. Wanaezu wa pesiva. They are around. Wako. Wanaezu wa pesiva. They are there. False prophets. And that's why wengine wanasema watasoma mikono ya uh, mikono. Wanaweza kusoma mikono. Wengine wanasoma nyota. All these are uh, mambo ya manabi wa wongo. But let me tell you. Let me tell you. Even without a preacher like me. If you have the Bible. With the Bible alone. You can make to heaven. With the Bible alone. Ukisoma Bible. Na ufanye vile Bible inasema. Even without anybody to interpret, the Holy Spirit will be there and you can make to heaven. Welcome to Revival Sanctuary of Glory with Bishop Dr. Ken and Marcy Ken at Riruta Satellite near Riruta Police Station every Sunday for motivational Sunday services between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. God will impact, bless, and lift your life. You are most welcome.